Hello all. Uh, this is about using mouse gestures in uh, Windows. I know you can get them in uh, browsers such as Opera or maybe an add-on plug-in in Firefox and so on. Uh, gesture is just uh, drawing a shape. Uh, so if I draw the shape of a V, it uh, opens VLC player. And if I go this way up, it closes the window. And down here is a little dialog. It pops up very quickly and uh, disappears to tell you that it's uh, activated or it's unknown. Sometimes that happens too. So here it is, uh, the program Gmote. And it's active and you hit configure. And you can see here I've been messing around with uh, different uh, actions. Uh, like the S to start, start button. Uh, so if I draw like an S shape, it'll open the start menu and Firefox like a W says unrecognized try it again there it goes and if I want to minimize uh, sometimes it's hard there and minimize close closed okay and uh, you can create sets as it's shown here uh, you can create a new set load set save set or save as save as uh, might come in handy if you have a bunch of sets that you want to put in a folder in your documents or, or wherever you like. Um, a few things about this program. Um, memory, it's 33 megabytes. I know sometimes it's, it's a little funny, but um, it's pretty accurate most of the times. Um, what else, uh, what I would suggest is you go to the website and you should keep checking for updates on this because um, it seems to be in transition uh, coming soon as a blog and it's from handform.net okay and to get it um, gmote for windows leave for that to load okay uh, cnet download is where you would get it and I'll see what it says here on their site and it says price free so I guess it's free I don't really know um, so yeah you just download it it doesn't have an installer so you have to extract it to a folder so oops okay well I'm also going to use my uh, <laughs> gestures. I have a, a folder that I created in called Tools, and I un, um, extracted to a folder called Gmote, and the executables here, Gmote. And you can see there's the test file that uh, I'm using, and there's a getting started one that they have as well. Oops. Uh, what was I looking for? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, right. Okay. Um, downloads. So yeah, it's called Gmote Full .zip, and it's uh, 604 kilobytes. And also, um, you have options here. Okay. Um, you can have it to Control Shift and move the mouse, hold right mouse button and drag, press Control with the right mouse button. I chose the middle mouse. If you don't have a middle mouse, obviously you can use other another combination. You can change. I chose to uh, uh, disable the trail. I found it distracting. You can have it on. You can click, uh, select a checkbox here and choose a color and uh, timeout period between clicks or um, gestures and automatically check for updates <clears throat> so um, quickly here I'll create a new set uh, just to show you and make sure this is not active see it changes the, the color or shade so we create a gesture and say we want uh, to open a folder and it'll pop up and say what do you want to open so pictures my pictures okay then again okay and we'll create another gesture 
Uh, to close, so close windows. These are under special here, close window. So here, when I click beside pictures, it'll say record again for some reason. So I make roughly like a shape of a P, and it says unrecognized. Record again. Okay, that was a little too crazy. Okay. So. Oops, sorry, I had to activate that. So you reactivate it and you do roughly the shape of a P. Uh, it brings up uh, your pictures. And to close it, I already hit, um, you have to make a gesture. So deactivate this. Make something like, oops. Sometimes it's, uh, like I said, it's not perfect, but record again. There we go. Okay. So activate this again, bring up pictures, you want to close it, you just do that. Okay. And you can load a set. And if you don't want it save changes, in this case I don't, uh, you go back to where G mode is, for example, where I had in uh, the directory and reopen my uh, working set that I'm working on right now. And I think that's about it. There isn't too much. There's a, there, too much else to explain. There's a lot in here that you can do. And uh, there's a hide button. So it'll hide down uh, in the system tray. You can uh, deselect active. You can configure it. Uh, run it always at startup or just exit. Uh, I would suggest if you're playing a game, I would uh, deactivate it. Um, you don't want something popping up like a browser while you're playing a game. So yeah, that's about it. Um, and there's an about here. Uh, Craig, what's this? Chinese terms? I don't know. So anyway, it says 2008, so it's a little old, but it it does it it serves it does well. It serves its purpose. So that's about it. Um, there's not much else to explain. I'll put the uh, link to this in the description, and uh, and you can try it out and. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to uh, put in whatever you like. And uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching and have a good one. Take care. Bye.